All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the importance of keywords. So we wanna make sure that your gig gets found. What can you do to make sure that you get found? Now, what we're talking about here is that when people type in this search box, that they're looking for what you offer that you come up. So for example, I typed in proofreading. So let's go down to proofreading. And then I clicked on search. And then I sorted it by the highest rating because I like to pick the people that are the highest rated. And I just looked at some of the examples here. I like this guy. He's done over 2,000 jobs with reviews. So he's probably done well more than that. And now I have found someone by using that keyword. So let's look at how many times he's using his keyword in this gig that allowed us to find him. He was on the first row of the gigs in the highly recommended section for the keyword proofreading. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure that your keyword is in the title. So you can see here the keyword proofread. Now I typed in proofreading, but proofread would come up as a keyword. So um, proofreading is important. Then he's in the right category, writing and translating proofreading. Now we don't know because we can't tell, but this picture right here should have the keyword proofreading as the name of the photo when the person uploaded it to Fiverr. So for example, when you're uploading your photos or videos to Fiverr, what is the name? What is the file name of your photo or video? Well, that file name should be your keyword. When we study search engine optimization and the importance of keywords, we always know that putting photos and videos with the name of your keyword makes a difference. So do it here on Fiverr as well. Now in the description, you can put your keyword in here a few times. I recommend putting it in here three times. If you put it in here too many times, Fiverr will give you a warning and tell you that the word proofreading is in your description too many times and you need to fix it. Now let's see how many times proofreading is in here. So here's the keyword proofread. I'm sorry, let me get off that. So you could see it right here, proofread. Um, proofreading, so there's two times. And let's see, so it looks like it's in here two times. Now, maybe it's in here again and I missed it. 21 turn sentence flow, but okay, it looks like it's in here two times. So two times is great. Um, let's keep moving down. So you know when you're creating a gig on Fiverr, they ask you to put in your tags. Your tags are the same thing as keywords. And we can see over here that this guy's tags include the word proofread and the word proofreader, which has um, the word proofread in it, right? Proofread right here. So very good, it has the keyword in it twice, which is great. So make sure that your keyword is in your tags. And then the last thing that I just wanna point out here is your comments. Now. This person leaving excellent proofreader in the comments in the review that he's leaving for this gig is awesome. It does wonders for this gig. But the person who owns this gig should respond to everyone who's given him a thumbs up and a positive review and say, I really enjoy doing your proofreading job for you. And that will put the keyword in the response to back to this person. So remember somebody um, gives you a rating, gives you a thumbs up, gives you a review, you have the option now to, it's like review them, give them feedback. So make sure that your keyword is in that review. So what we just went over was that your keyword should be in your title. Um, your, your photos and videos that you're using to promote your gig should all be saved with your keyword's name. You should have your keyword in your description. In this case, it was in here twice. But to actually look, there it is again, I missed that. So it's actually in here three times. Um, I recommended three times, so do three times. He's got it in here three times. And then the last thing that I recommended was when people are reviewing you, that you review them back and put your keyword in the review back. This person is lucky and the people that are commenting <laughs> are putting their key, his keyword, the proof read, they're putting that keyword in their comments. This one did as well, top-notch proofreader, excellent proofreader. So that's gonna work really, really well for this gig. 
Now, if you want to do some research, how do you figure out what keywords to use? So you know that you're doing proofreading, but how do you figure out what keyword to use? So let's go back and do a search. We'll do a search this time for proofread. Sorry, proof, proofread. So you want to proofread. Um, what I do next is I look at the people that are in the recommended section. You can see these people in the recommended section. If anyone is like a top rated seller here, you go with a top rated seller. I click on their gig and I look at what keywords they're using, proofreading, copywriting papers, and grammar. So you can use those same keywords in your gig. So all we did was we searched for your keyword, we looked at people that were um, in the recommended section, and we looked at their keywords. What I think is more important is that you look at the people in the high rating section, especially these ones that have the top rated seller on them, and look at what their keywords are. Again, these are the, the tags. Um, they come up with this slick word related topics, but this that just means their keywords, their tags. Um, writing, proofreading, editing, articles, books. So those are the keywords or tags that she's using. Um, let's see, this one. So proofread, copy editor, correct copy. And then let's look at this one, top rated seller here. We've got proofreading, proofread, edit, proofreader, editor. So Fiverr actually allowed her to put the keyword proofread in here three times. This is probably one that I would copy right here. Proofreading, proofread, <laughs> proofreader, and edit, editor. I'd probably just copy those right there and you're done. Last but not least, one other thing that I want to show you in this section. Let's go back to this guy right here and is that in your profile, see his profile right here? Let me just click on it so we just see his profile. He includes the keyword proofread. <laughs> so I encourage you to do that as well in your profile. So you're gonna include the keyword in your profile. Everything you know makes a difference, so I just really recommend that you do it. Now, now that we've gone over everything that you need to do and that's what you need to do on Fiverr, I want you to head on over to Google really quickly. So in Google, I'll give you this um, search string, this search string is right here that I've put into Google. I'll give it to you in the um, worksheet that's attached to this lesson. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your keyword here. So this search string says in URL, your keyword here, site colon fiverr.com. So I wanna see what comes up in Google for proofread um, and they're on Fiverr, right? So here we go, the site's Fiverr. Proofread your document. Let's look at this person right here. So, okay, she's got 64 votes. So I wanna look at what she's doing because she has some high Google ranking. So <laughs> I'm definitely gonna check her out, check out what she's doing. Um, her past few comments aren't that great and she paused her gig. So that's probably not gonna help us too much, but we can look at it. Here, we looked at this lady already. We can click on this one. Professionally proofread, right? So we can look at her because she's coming up high in Google for that term of proofread because these, these gigs do come up in Google, so you definitely want to click on them and see who's coming up at the top. So that's just a really quick walkthrough on your tags and keywords and how to really use them. It's, it's a part of setting up your gig correctly in a sense that you want to be found for your keywords. So take all of this in mind when creating your gigs. If you've already created your gigs, take some time to fix them and make sure that you've got tags and keywords in the right place.